Hello everyone. My name is Lincoln Hoddle and for my historic librarian project I chose to learn about Jorge Luis Borges. Borges was born in Buenos Aires in 1899. His father was a lawyer and writer and possessed a marvelous private library. Borges wrote later that if I were asked to name the chief event in my life I should say my father's library. In fact I sometimes think I have never strayed outside that library. I can still picture it. It was in a room of its own, with glass-fronted shelves, and must have contained several thousand volumes. The family moved to Geneva in 1914. While abroad, Borges learned French and German and briefly became a communist in Spain. He returned to Argentina in 1921. Politics formed the backdrop for Borges' writing and life. He lived through both world wars and through many eventual political changes in Argentina, to put it lightly. Borges was notably opposed to Perón and was removed from his position in the library due to his outspoken politics. Years later, his position as the director of the National Library was only made possible after Perón was removed from office by coup. Borges didn't much enjoy his time at his first job at the Municipal Library and spent much of his time fighting. Meanwhile, his family and upper-class friends did not think the position suited to his stature. Stevens writes that his upper-class lady friends were horrified by his job, and his father considered him a failure. Of his time at the Municipal Library, Borges wrote later that, Ironically, at the time, I was a fairly well-known writer, except at the library. I remember a fellow employee once noting in an encyclopedia the name of a certain Jorge Luis Borges, a fact that set him wondering at the coincidence of our identical names and birth dates. In 1946, Perón came to power and Borges was promoted out of the library. He wrote that in 1946, a president whose name I do not want to remember came into power. One day soon after, I was honored with the news that I had been promoted out of the library to the inspectorship of poultry and rabbits in the public markets. I went to the city hall to find out what it is all about. Look here, I said, it's rather strange that among so many others at the library, I should be singled out as worthy of this new position. Well, the clerk answered, you were on the side of the Allies. What do you expect? The statement was unanswerable. The next day, I sent in my resignation. Years later, when Perón was out of power, Borges' friends finagled a position for him as the director of the National Library, where he worked in tandem with the vice director Edmundo José Clemente. Borges spent much of his time at the library writing, although when he did work, he was quite efficient. He once classified 400 books in a day, and the next day they asked him to decrease his pace so as not to make them look so bad. The library was one of Borges' favorite images, often repeated in his fiction, reflecting the time he spent working as a librarian himself. When appointed as director of the National Library, Borges' reputation as a writer and his anti-fascist political views helped the library get more press attention during his directorship. And along with Clemente, Borges created the National School of Library Studies in 1956 which continues to offer education to library students to this day. Initially not well known outside of Argentina, the turning point for Borges' career came in 1961 when he was awarded the Prix Fomentor in, along with Samuel Beckett. Sub subsequent international interest in his work led to increased awareness and acclaim. Of his writing style, Constantinova writes that Borges takes the images of the library and its librarian and transforms them into metaphysical metaphors, posing questions about the nature of language, time, life, and the universe itself. In recent years, Borges' ideas of a universal library and the accumulation of all texts have been considered prophetic and have been applied to the concept of the World Wide Web and the digitization of books. As for Borges, he continued to work at the library and publish books until his death in 1986. He is remembered as a prolific reader and writer, his life and stories were imbued and influenced by his time spent in libraries, and his impact on the identity of libraries remains to this day. That's it. Thank you for viewing. Borges' literary creation, The Library of Babel, has now been created virtually. Click the link on the hexagon to visit the site. And here are my citations.